What's up guys, it's Aribsios here. Today I'm going to make a quick video to show you guys how to install an operating system from VMware inside Windows. So why might you want to do this? Uh, let's say you don't have a USB drive or a CD drive or something to boot something off. You can simply just use an ISO within your existing Windows. As long as you have VMware, this can also be done in VirtualBox. Uh, but for today, we're going to learn how to do it with VMware Workstation. Okay, so what's the first step? Uh, probably number one, you should have the ISO that you want. Uh, in the example that I used earlier on, I was actually using Linux Mint 20, whatever ISO is that you want, whether it's Windows or Linux or uh, FreeBSD or something like that. Uh, just have the ISO ready and also have an extra drive ready, right? So this extra drive is gonna be the one uh, that gets installed to. So we're gonna be using a physical drive uh, to install the OS to. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is open the disk management tool. The reason we're doing this is we actually need to be sure of what our drive number is. Okay, and in my example here, you will see a drive 0 and drive 1. Uh, where you are at your office, at your home, you may have any number of drives. Uh, so it's really critical to identify which is the right one. The next step here is to open VMware Workstation as administrator. Uh, if you're not administrator, you will not be able to use the physical disk. Uh, so make sure that you've done that. Okay, the next step here is we're going to create uh, a new VM. Okay, you're going to choose the advanced setting here. And the reason for that is that it's much easier to create the physical drive on the fly. Okay, so you're going to do that. You're going to go through the setting uh, and you just basically create the VM as normal. Uh, all the defaults are we fine aside from maybe you need more or less RAM depending on your system. Okay, so do that. Um, run through all the settings here. Here you're going to choose physical drive zero in my case, but your case, like I said, you'll have to know which is the number. As you can see, the correlation is that drive zero and disk management is the same thing as physical drive zero, uh, but it may not be for you. So you have to make sure uh, what your ID is, right? And in my case, it's zero. Uh, so I'm good there. Uh, and once you're done, actually, the one final thing you have to do, uh, you probably want to edit the setting. Now, this just depends um, if you're installing this for a newer system. Right, most of the newer systems here, they may only boot EFI, especially, um, you know, like the average Dell or HP. They may not have the option to boot MBR, which is the default uh, that most virtualization, including VMware, will give you. Okay, so if that's your case, you want to boot as EFI, you have to go to the VM settings and under options, go to advanced, and there you'll be able to click UEFI. Okay, and after that, everything's like normal. You should be able to boot up uh, from the ISO that you've selected and install like normal. Once you've done that and the installation is done, you can then just power off the VM and uh, boot your drive on the current machine or if, if it's intended for somewhere else, uh, you can go and boot it there. Okay, guys, so I hope that's been helpful. I think it does save uh, a lot of time and hassle or if you're in a pinch and you maybe you can't boot anything else, but you want to have a drive for home or a drive for a server or something like that, uh, this makes life a lot easier, guys. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.